us in Toulouse and to all of you watching on the internet. Sit back and enjoy the show. You're watching Ariane Space's Vega flight number three, and we're launching Kaz AOSAT-1 for Kazakhstan, the nation's first Earth observation satellite. We're going to cut away now, let you hear the DDO as he calls out the final 10 seconds in the countdown, and we'll be back after Vega has cleared the tower. Enjoy the liftoff. À tous de DDO, attention pour la séquence finale. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top, allumage P80, décollage. Les paramètres à bord sont nominaux. Well, off she went like a shot. I told you, you saw Vega rise like an arrow, surprisingly fast. If you're used to watching Ariane, those of you familiar with the Ariane flights know that the heavier launcher rises much more slowly than Vega. The DDO is saying that all is nominal on board, everything functioning normally. After lifting off perfectly from French Guiana, beginning the third mission in her young career, Vega is flying a year after her successful second flight. The fine shots, people watching from the beaches, from their cars, and from the observation sites here around the base, getting some fine videos and photos. 136 tons at liftoff, Ariane 5 weighing over six times that much, remember? Vega lifting a satellite weighing 829 kilos tonight. There are some links between Vega and Ariane, which we're going to look at in just a minute. But for now, the flight path. Vega flies over the Atlantic, north over the Bermudas, then over Canada, then down over Russia and Australia, then back up South America from south to north. She then makes a second pass over the Bermuda Islands and Canada, then again down over Russia and the Avum, the upper stage will finally splash down in the southern Indian Ocean, but that's over two hours from now, we won't see it. What we do see is the first stage that's burning now and just been separated right on time. The first stage weighs 97 tons, the 88 tons of that are fuel. We're into the second stage burn. The second stage is called the Zephyro, ZZ-23, burns its solid rocket motor for 86 seconds. It weighs 25 tons. 23 of those are fuel. On the upper right-hand corner of her screen, you see the cursor crawling up the... Uh,